All right, guys, here we go. So we are now at the point where it's time to put the top plate on. So let's go ahead and grab our top plate here, okay? And a couple things that we wanna keep in mind. First thing is that let's get our antenna here situated. It's gonna go through that center hole right there, just like that, okay? The next thing is we need to fit our camera uh, plates in properly. So just kind of line them up, all right? And you may have a little bit of a trouble snapping them in place. Don't worry about it, but just try to get them lined up as best as you can. Um, I'm going to see here, sometimes it's gonna be like they need to come out more, and that may be that you need to loosen the screw, or you can just push on it with a screwdriver, just like I did, and it should pop right in place into those slits, okay? And if they don't, don't struggle too much, just unscrew it a little bit, don't take the screw out, just unscrew it, try to fit it in there, and there you go. So you can see now mine, all the slits here are lined up perfect, they're inside, and we've got all the screw holes lined up, okay? We wanna fasten this like this at this point so nothing comes out and gets loose. So first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and take one of our remaining screws, put it in the top right or top left, which one you prefer, uh, and tighten that down because we wanna make sure the camera plate does not come back out. All right, and then do the second side, the second corner right there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to the back here and we're gonna tighten the back corners. Okay. And at this point you could kind of let go because the top plate's on pretty good. Let's go ahead and tighten this one. All right, and then we're gonna put the four other screws here for the center mounts, just like that. Excellent. Now just pick it up and tighten them all. Make sure they're tightened on the bottom and the top as well, because remember we only finger tighten these last time when we put them into the bottom plate. So we're gonna make sure that we get this on pretty good. You don't have to, don't, don't go crazy on it, but go ahead and tighten them down. And then turn the frame upside down and then just go back over the ones that you did here and just make sure that they're fastened well. Okay. These are actually pretty tight, so that's good. All right, and then the last thing is we're just gonna just gently tighten those uh, screws that we put in at the bottom to the nylon standoffs because we only finger tighten those well, just gently. I mean, they don't go crazy on it, but just to get that last bit. Okay, so look at that. I mean, this is, this is excellent, right? So now the only thing left to do here is we need to put our antenna wires, right? So what we're gonna do is, if you notice, you have these small slits right here, okay? And we're gonna try to run them through there. So what I want you to do is I just want you to take it and turn the frame upside down and just feed it through, feed these through those slits, just like that, okay? Don't, don't yank on it too hard there because you might break it right out of the receiver. Just feed it up through there and that one up through there, just like this, okay? Excellent. Once you have that done, I want you to take your zip tie, okay? And I want you to, let me see how we're gonna make this to where angle's the best for you. Um, let's go ahead and let's, let me see. Let's, let's feed it through, oh, we'll go sideways here. Okay, so let's go like this. So from the outside of your frame, send the zip tie in as well. All right, just like this. Make sure the buckle is here. It's important that you keep the buckle here, okay? And then zip tie this. Just zip tie the zip tie to the frame. You're not doing anything else, just this, okay? All right. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Get your zip tie, feed it through the top, just like this, okay? Just like that. Awesome. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna take the heat shrink. Let me go grab my two pieces of heat shrink. Okay. 
and we're going to feed the heat shrink over the zip tie and the antenna just like this okay and just like this now if you don't have a heat gun you can use a hair dryer or anything else um, there you go just like that you see that that's how it should look okay then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna heat it up I'm gonna grab my heat gun right here let me heat it up and as I heat it up I'm gonna make sure to hold it in this V angle Okay. There go. And there you go. You have now completed your build. So you have your drone should look just like this when you're done. So what I'm gonna do is let me get my tools off the bench here. Let's get the cutters put away. And let's see what we've got, okay? So I'll give you some different views here so you can see it. Here's the top, and then here's the bottom. Now one thing that we didn't do that I wanna come back and do is I'm gonna go ahead now and see my camera, it's kinda of pointed down. I'm just gonna angle it a little bit. All right, if I can, let me see, mine's kind of tightened up there, I guess. Let me see, I may just angle it just a little bit. Oh, actually, I may need to take my plate off here. Hold on a second. I've got my camera too angled down. So if you cannot move your camera, loosen the plate real quickly because the camera needs to be at an angle before the plate. So let me, let me just kind of try to angle this back a little bit. Now I can, now I've got movement. Now I'll tighten my plate back down, okay? You don't have to take the screws off entirely. You just want to loosen it so you've got some movement there. All right, just like this. Let's go ahead and tighten it. Now, if your camera was able to move, that's fine. If not, loosen the top four screws enough to where you can move it. Make sure my plug is in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna angle my camera. You see how it's moving like this? Okay, I'm just gonna angle it. Uh, just like keep my finger underneath it and just tighten it at that angle. All right, there's one. Gotta get my screwdriver out, there we go. Get the other one. And you can use the Allen wrench that came with it or you can use your hex driver, whatever it may be. And there you go. So your camera's set, everything is good. And we are ready to get to the programming and testing. So good job guys, congratulations if you got this far. Uh, if you have any questions or if any of the videos are a little difficult to follow, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, enjoy it and we'll be back for programming here in just a few. Talk to you guys shortly.